Hi, David Gerard here. I'm in Pawnee, Oklahoma at the Dick Tracy headquarters at the Pawnee County Historical Society Museum. Hi, my name is Sue Pope and I'm one of the volunteers at Pawnee County Historical Society in Pawnee, Oklahoma. Chester Gould was born in Pawnee, Oklahoma in 1900 and he was always illustrating something. He illustrated the yearbook at the high school. We have a lot of drawings from when he was young and he just had a lot of fun with it. He was here and graduated from the Old Castle High School and after he graduated he left and he had a job in Tulsa for a while and he decided he wanted to get even more education about art so he went on to Oklahoma A&M in Stillwater which is now OSU. After a while there he had perfected what he considered and started putting his cartoons out for display or trying to find a job somewhere using mm -hmm. his art. He, he did do it in a few local papers. Were, it was run in the Tulsa paper, but it was never the Dick Tracy comic strip. He created that and it started the Chicago Tribune. And that happened in uh, to be the his life calling, actually, if you will. From there he never stopped illustrating until the day he died, I don't think. He still had fun with it and true with it. Did he say why he picked a policeman story or He anything? wanted a detective type person. He wanted someone that was better than the law. And, you know, it was the law but better, one step above. Uh, so he <coughs> created Dick Tracy and he of course always wore this type of uniform because to, of course detectives have coats. They're always supposed to have trench coats and their hats made it even better. Why yellow? Don't know. Doesn't matter. <laughs> These are the characters that he created. Uh, and he did these based on many of his friends here. Uh, just, if you lived here in the old days, which very few people are still around in the early 1900s, but everyone remembers specific people that they said, oh, that was the barber, oh, that was the grocer, uh, oh, I know who that is. You know, the minute that they saw the character, they knew that it was one of the people that they had grown up with and that we were living in this community. And you said he did return and come and... He did come to visit quite often. He had family here for a while. And his daughter came even when we dedicated a street to, to her dad's memory, Chester Gould Drive. Uh, she came for that. He has one daughter who is still alive and she has helped us create this museum. Because when they had a museum in Illinois and they were foundering trying to find funding for it, she contacted us and said, I know you have a museum. Can we add you to your museum with, your, with items that we have? So she went through and picked out items that she thought we would enjoy. Specific original comic strips that are here, that are in his hand, you know, hand-drawn things. Um, we even have a contract with her who's telegrammed from his first notification that he'd been accepted by the Chicago Tribune. Which so is this is the only this Dick is Tracy? This the only Dick Tracy Museum. So we've tried to keep his memory alive because he did a lot for this community unknowingly. He made people famous that didn't think they were going to be famous. <laughs> now they may not have wanted to be created in that light because some of them were gangsters. But, but he kind of saw them as gangsters, I think, in his own way. Oh, now, uh, this weekend is the Dick Tracy Festival. You call it? it will be on the 27th and through that weekend, yes. That will be homecoming and then followed by Dick Tracy Day the following day. And what happens on Dick Tracy uh, Day? Dick Tracy Day, there will be a big, that's when we have the big parade that starts downtown. The band will lead with the flags and then the police cars will go by for the next 10 minutes with all their sirens and all, I see. all from the whole area. And then they all convene here and the band will play and people will come in and have cake and ice cream to celebrate and um, punch and basically just tour the hall and ask questions and do things like that. Yeah.